You're getting the Jimmy arm over there. Like, oh man, remember that in Requiem for a Dream? Yeah. Jared Leto's arm, he has to cut it off in the end. Yeah. Is that a movie to watch? I've, I've heard people nah, talk about you that don't, movie. You don't no. even watch that. It's good. I liked it. Yeah. I watched it in film class. It was a big deal for me. Uh, it was formative years. Yeah. You didn't like uh, it? It's just you don't need to watch it. Why? It's these? like gore. It's like revenge gore. It is gore. It is gore. gore. I don't like you just, gore. You just don't need it. Oh, no. If you don't like gore, it's I'm not a very, gore guy. I'm not a gore guy either, but it's it's very much like gore. Even like, like film gore, I'm kind of... I'm, mm. yeah. Really? And you're a metal guy. Usually metal see, guys love that shit. They're like, oh, man, did you see... Do you see Aliens of the Last Revenge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm breaking the stereotype. Yeah. I mean, Stephen uh, Rifkin actually worked on it. I mean, he was the guy from Frankenstein's Bride. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love a, a good evisceration? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's... I know I could use one. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Yeah. No, th there's like, uh, yeah, metal merch is like, there's a lot of really bad metal merch where, like, there'll be the back of the shirt will just say like, say like Jesus is a c or something like that, and mm. it's just super. It edgy. has like a blood bag in it. Yeah, it's like just... in the shirt where you like hit it and like it rips down the J. It's yeah. like a small iconic blood bag that's sewn yeah. into the like those into each one. Remember the scream masks where you could pump blood. It was like a Halloween mask. No, I didn't know that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. In, in that at a pump where you could put blood. I didn't know you could pump blood into it. No, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Wish yeah. I could pump blood into. A lot of things. Mm -hmm. I wish my dick worked. Doctor says there's no blood going to it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow. Pretty cool, huh? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Superb. Holy <laughs> sh. <laughs> Superlative. Yeah. <laughs> Superlative. I will, uh, it's like <laughs> they have that, like, they, their whole life is lived like they're giving a tour through in a Victorian house. Mm. And, like, and downstairs, the temperature might be alarming. Oh my god! I love that. Yeah, yeah, man. I love becoming a schizophrenic. Mm. <laughs> Which one of my personalities is going to game pick up store? Game store yeah, guy. Game store guy. I love wearing down game store guy and making him like me. Yeah. You ever do that? I know what you mean. When like they hate you off the like maybe maybe because you you dress wild, mm. but like if you look like a button up like I've come in like a like a used car salesman look suit mm -hmm. and they just want to fucking hate me, mm -hmm. and I'll be like nah you're not getting off that easy, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll crack them with a joke that's like so in their vein yeah, and I'm like I'm gonna fucking make you love me. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Are you talking about a uh, like like a GameStop a GameStop, GameStop? manager uh. that wants to hate you? He might not hate you because you, like you look metal mm -hmm. and like relaxed. Yeah. And that's like safe for them, yeah. Because yeah, their yeah. buddies look, you know, metal. Yeah. And real, but like, I was if I was like look like you know like a fucking dickhead. Sometimes I come in, in like a tan pea coat, looking like a fucking straight up. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, this fucking douchebag. And I'm like, this, ah. and I'm like, I'm like bro guy asking for like, I want a PS5 and I want Call of Duty. And they're like, yeah, of course you do, dude. Why yeah. don't you? Have, why don't you look for Spartans of the Scepter? Yeah, th I mean, it just dropped. <laughs> if they're if you're buying a PS, if you're buying like something expensive, they should be like ringing you up quick. Yeah, like, they you know. do. But like, you know, that, I want to make the small talk where I want them to have me over their house for a beer. And the usual okay. jokes that I make is that my wife is two thousand pounds and she's a full. Yeah. That's how I always win them. I'm like, That's you know, fucking unbelievable, dude. I, I told my wife I want to get back into video games. And it was like, I tell her I have a one inch and I want a dog. And he's like, that's the first one. And I'm like, yeah. But then again, she was 80 pounds when I met her. And now she's 471 <laughs> pounds today when she stepped on the scale. I was taking a shit this morning and my wife like wallowed a fat ass <laughs> into the bathroom. And then she, I could see the scale because it's right in front of the toilet. And she stepped on the scale to weigh herself. And it said 471 pounds. When I met her, dude, it was literally 88. And they're like, oh, man, that sucks. No, no, no. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. I, was, I thought that was, that, that was supposed to be the water, ah, the the water horn. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I like sorry. all the fucking sound effects. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which one the... Oh, there we go. 471 pounds. <laughs> but uh, usually that, that, gets, yeah, yeah. that gets like 90% of them. Then yeah. Sometimes they like, think I'm being mean about my wife. I have to like, change gears quickly. Mm hmm and I'm like, my wife died of cancer, and I would give anything to have the love of my life back. I don't care if she was 2,000 pounds or something like that. I'm mm -hmm. like, and then I'm like, I have hemorrhoids the size of golf balls, and I squeeze them with my hands <laughs> <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah. Would you get them? You always get them. I'll get them. You always get them.